Alright everyone, welcome back to another video. So today, uh, as I've promised in the last video, I am going to make a sort of tutorial on how to make uh, your first Skywars matches successful and win as number one. Not necessarily in killer, uh, you know, kill count, but you would still win the game. Alright, uh, anyways guys, please hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So, the number one thing that you'd like to uh, prioritize is the hotkeys. So basically, for example, for me, the fourth slot hotkey is on mouse 4, and the last slot, so the ninth slot, is on mouse 5, so I can block clutch, I can water bucket clutch. So you really need to have very good hotkeys, and time these hotkeys with your reactions are also incredibly important like there were times where i basically won the game because i clutched you know i was able to clutch because i had the time to you know switch that slot where there are blocks or water bucket so it not necessarily have to be the same settings as i do but you know for so something that you're comfortable with is something for example let's say for certain people for example r is water bucket or something so whatever um key you're comfortable with set that as for example your priority or secondary key so for example for blocks for maybe weapons or for water bucket or for projectiles so you really do need to have hotkey and reactions another thing you also need is meta uh, is uh, inventory management because uh you know it it, it saves time and Sky Wars is just all about, you know, saving as much time as possible, get to the main island, get all the good loot, and then start wiping out everyone. Because if you sticking around, doing, you know, messing around and doing some weird stuff, like, you know, oh yeah, because I didn't, like, manage the inventory, someone's going to rush you on certain maps in, like, 10 seconds, because as soon as they get blocks, they, they just rush you. So, you really have to... Uh, you know, save time. Just try to save time, hotkey reactions, and inventory management. So the number two thing that I would like to say is uh, very important is actually not PvP. I mean, PvP is important because it's Sky Wars, but it's actually not as important as uh, as people would think. So that's why I didn't put it on number two. So number two is speed bridging. Speed bridging, I mean... You don't necessarily need to know how to diagonal speed bridge as long as you know how to, you know, speed bridge on like one axis. So you don't have to go two axis. It's all right if you can go only one axis. Like I can't diagonal speed bridge. So you just have to know some sort of speed bridge so you can get to middle and or to try to evade situations. And you also have to uh, know how to uh, place blocks in front of people. So slow them down, either defensively or offensively. So when you're running, you want to, you know, spam, click, basically the blocks to block their way. And then you can heal or you can slow them down and you start hitting off to the void. Anyways, number three on this list is uh, map knowledge. You see, map knowledge, despite a lot of newbies thinking maps, they, they don't really have a lot, you know, to change on your chances of winning, they actually do. Because there are certain maps where, for example, the players, they spawn further from each other, so that means making rushing the other player's island less likely. And there are others where they're basically like five blocks away from each other, so they, you place like three blocks, you jump over and you kill the other person. Like if, if someone is uh, an incredible sweat. So it's really good to know the map knowledge and also there are certain maps where there are like sort of quote-unquote hiding spots and these hiding spots are uh you know for example good for when you're uh trying to heal like either naturally or just gaps so you know for example healing or trying to find the enemy and sneak on them so it's it's, it's really important to know certain maps Number four is prioritize your aim over your clips per second or CPS. See, that's what people think is, you know, PvP is like, oh yeah, you have to click like 6,000 uh, clicks per second. No, it's not like that. Your aim is way more important in Skywars because Skywars, there's less space. So it's not like a dual arena where there was basically a hundred blocks of a field. You can basically, you know, 
afford to miss a lot despite if you click a lot. So of course CPS does matter to a certain point, but you see, I have made a test and, and when I'm like trying to aim, I only click five CPS, maybe even less. So I don't click that fast. I'm not like a butterfly clicker. I only butterfly click when I'm placing blocks and I'm blocking enemies off. So you want to prioritize your aim. So one main thing to do that, of course, I know, it is really uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable for me as well, is to lower your sensitivity. Like sensitivity, uh, I mean, you would say, oh, but what if the enemy uh, suddenly goes to the other side? I can turn there faster. First of all, uh, you can avoid that from happening for them to go behind you by, you know, constantly backing up. If you have space, just constantly backing up. So not letting them hit you in the rear so that you have to turn. Second is you, you, you just have to get used to the, you know, slower sens uh, sensitivity and Trust me, you're gonna see good results. Like, I, I have basically killed off like three peoples in a row with full diamond. So they were basically like, okay, not full diamond, but like two diamond pieces. And so rest were also iron and enchanted. I was basically with like unenchanted iron pieces and I won because I had good aim and I had a, you know, a good sword. Anyways, number five is prioritize certain enchants above others. So for example, for Sky Wars, that enchant, uh, which you would, uh, you know, love to have is knockback. So, you know, because it's a 1.8 PvP, so they prioritize knockback on sharpness. Because sharpness, while, yes, you do a lot of damage, you might make the enemy panic. But knockback allows you to, one, hit someone off to the void. Or two is you can get combos easier. So for example, you slow them down already with a fishing rod, then you start hitting them with a knockback sword. There is a very few chance that even if the person you're comboing is an incredibly huge sweat, they're not going to be able to come back at you because they simply can't click that far unless they're hacking, which, you know, it's nothing really you can do about that because I'm basically saying uh these tips and making this tutorial from a standpoint of a non who has no ranks so basically your report about hacking does not matter and finally uh one of the most important things although it's on number six i think it still plays a major part of how you can sweat in uh sky wars so number six would be be determined because sky wars is a sort of game it's like it does not reward you like, if you just say, I give up because I couldn't win three rounds. Like, I can go sometimes with a day where I won, like, one round out of, like, 50 rounds in Skywars. And sometimes I can just win every single round I play in Skywars. It's just, you know, it just depends on your day. So, don't, don't take it too seriously. It's just a game. I mean, of course, you would see me rage. And raging is okay. It's, it's, it's fine. It's just... You know, rage does not mean, like, you should quit, because a lot of people, including me, when I first started out, uh, you know, playing Skywars, is I hated Skywars. I mean, I still sort of do. It's because Skywars, it kind of really discourages you, because there are, like, certain sweats who, who can just, I don't know, um, combo you off a cliff, even though they have leather armor. And it's quite understandable, since... This Sky Wars community this has been longer than Battle Wars, which Battle Wars is, I if I believe right now, a bit more popular than Sky Wars. But you know, Sky Wars is basically a five to seven year old community, so there of course there's going to be a lot of sweats, like a lot of sweats. So just don't take it that hard. But of course, uh, you know, extra tip: stay away from e girls. All right, stay away from them. If you see one. Stay away from them. No matter if you, they, they seem, oh, they don't know how to play the game. Yeah, that's called faking it. And then you soon, you, you go up there, they pull out a diamond sword and you're dead. So, so just don't, don't mess with the heroes. Just leave them for last. Or if you have to fight them, fight as sweaty as possible. Sweaty as possible, all right? Sweaty as possible. And just add a note, if you need to hack against the hero because you can't lose your pride, then go ahead. But, you know, that carries a risk of you being banned. Well, they're hacking. And, of course, they're not getting banned. That's uh, how life works. So, basically, the extra tip, uh, basically, in a nutshell, what I'm saying is, 
life isn't fair. There, you know, e-girls are just always gonna win, and as long as Minecraft exists, they're always gonna win. Unless, you know, there are actually girls, and there are actually girls who can sweat, or there are just e-girls who can sweat. So, you know, just stay away from them, except life is, you know, not, you know, not fair, so. That's all I wanted to say for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope this helped you guys, uh, you know, lighten up the mood, open up a bit more towards Skywars. I hope I can see you guys in the next video.